morning. My name is Annabelle Dixon. I'm the Retail Leisure Reporter here at Estates Gazette. And I'm here at 9.15 in the morning for the 2010 event Property Chef between Estates Gazette and Davis Coffer Lines. Now, we're here at the Anthologist on Gresham Street in the city. We've got 10 very keen sets of leisure agents all competed out for this year's prize. Now, of course, last year, Seabury were the winners. This year, they are not here. So the prize is most definitely up for grabs. Um, we have... All the leisure agents divide into three groups who will be rotating. Behind me, we have got the first group who are setting off the day with cocktail making, which is pretty brave. Over to my left, we've got a second group who are taking part in the cooking. And to my far left, at the other side of the anthologist, we've got a third group who are taking part in the quiz. Now, throughout the morning, they're all going to move around so each team has a chance to take part in every activity. We're going to catch up with them later to see how they're all faring. <laughs> Right, I'm here with Nick, the mixologist for the morning. Nick, you've been overseeing all these three groups of agents. How have they been doing? What have you been looking for? Um, well, all the guys done really well, actually. What I've been pretty much looking for is um, obviously the drink, make sure it tastes good, looks good, how it's presented to the customer with napkins, how the glass was handled. Done with a bit of flair and style, you know, the guys having a laugh behind the bar, having a laugh with me. And no, yeah, everyone sort of took to it. It was really cool and very impressed, actually. Right, I'm here with Rob, the chef, who's been overseeing all these agents this morning. Rob, what were you looking for this morning? I was looking to see uh, their skill in chopping onions, their, um, the taste at the end with the, the, of the whole dish, and I was also looking to see um, if they were paying attention to each ingredient that went in. And how do you think they've done? Not bad, there's a real mix there. Some of them don't cook at all, some of them do a little bit. Not a lot of them do much cooking, I've got to say, so um, it, oh, it was good to see that uh, the, uh, the energy was good. Right, I'm here with the Davis Coffer Lions team. Guys, can you explain what it is that you've made here? Um, linguine alla vongole. It's um, clam pasta with a bit of chilli. It's lovely, even if I say so myself. Can you quickly explain to the camera what it is that you've made here? Because for all our viewers, they might not know what these two delightful looking drinks are. Uh, the yellow drink is a mango mojito and the martini is a rose flower using Russian vodka. Sounds very punchy. Right, it's just before midday. We've now got three finalists who are cooking a tuna salad. We've just had um, Josh from Davis Coffer Lions. Now we've got Nathan from Shelley Sands there and finally George from Stephen Kane and Company who are all going to be battling it out with their delicious salads for the final prize. Here we are with the winners of Property Chef 2010, Stephen Kane Company, George, who was cooking, and Robert as well. Now, do you want to show your trophy to the camera? How are you feeling? Um, I'm quite surprised, actually, to be honest. To uh, I know a few people who aren't going... Ooh, I know a few people who are definitely going to be very surprised that I've won a... a a chefing cooking competition. So, I think yeah. it was my cocktails that got George going. 